and a very good evening. Welcome to Crafters TV. Uh, my name is Ben Mosby. I may or may not have been doing a silly dance uh, just before we opened up the craft vault right there. You will never know. But listen, thank you for joining us for the uh, final show of the week. And of course, the final show is part of our Take It To The Next Level event. Is that what it's called? No, Taste Of That. I still can't get it. <laughs> Take It To The Next Level. I think my name for the event sounds better. It's called the Taste Of The Next Level event, uh, where basically over the course of this show, you have got the ability to get an extra 5% off all of the deals. So if you're normally in the gold bracket, for example, where you get 15% off, you'll get 20%. If you're normally in the silver, uh, you'll get 15 instead of 10. And of course, uh, platinum members get that extra 5% off, making it a 25% discount. And let me just tell you, uh, you'll have to be quick because some of the deals that we've got on this show could potentially sell out very, very early doors because you have been shopping in between the show's big style. Um, so a busy hour on the way. We'll say hello to a few people who are already in watching, but uh, before we do that, let's say hello to the lady who has been my crafty partner in crime right throughout the day today, the lovely Debbie Fisher. Are you holding up? Hello, Ben. Hello, Debbie. Are you Hello, right? you out there. I'm holding up all right. I'm raring to go. Another hour. And, and But I do have to admit, all I'm thinking is like, what am I going to have for my tea? Uh, oh, so, you're going to have your tea? I know what I'm going to have for my tea. I'm like getting a bit hungry. My belly was rumbling a bit. Mm. I just had a little snack bag of apples and grapes and uh, oh. it just didn't fill me up. So I'm waiting for this hour to go just so I can go and eat. What are the choices? Maybe we can help you. Uh, well, there's not a lot of choice. I've got a calla lonely, beef calla lonely in the fridge. Right. Calla lonely for lonely old me. <laughs> oh no, calla lonely. <laughs> mm. Or there's the chip shop or there's Mackey D's or, you know... Sort of what what would do. Think if I had the choice so. between cannelloni, cannelloni, chippies, or chip shop. I think I'd have to fish and chips. I think I'd have. Mm, I do keep thinking that. Yeah, I do keep thinking that. Bit mm. of fish and chips. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think Debbie should have for <laughs> dinner. Uh, you can get in touch on Facebook and on YouTube. Of course, you can uh, message us there. And uh, any pics you want to send us as well. Interested, um, just seeing some messages coming in of um, snow here in the UK. We're supposed to have had the beast from the east today, but we certainly haven't had it here. Uh, but I noticed that um, Crafty Will saying that there's snow in Hastings. Let us know if you've had snow uh, where you are uh, today, particularly um, here in the UK. I'd love to see any snowy pictures you can send to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Uh, quick little uh, shout out mention to everybody who's already joined us, like uh, Cheryl, who says, good morning from Alaska. Hello, Cheryl. Uh, Mary says, hello again, everyone. Uh, Will, as I say, from a snowy Hastings. Will, if you get a chance, take a picture. I want to see what the snow's like in Hastings. Uh, good morning from Arlington. What's it? Oh, yeah, we dark, on not it? Put your outside lights on so we can have a look. Uh, Curran says, good Sunday morning from Arlington, Washington. I, I, you lose track of time when you come in here because you come in here so early, you don't get to go outside, you don't realise that it's gone dark. Uh, Kim says, hi from um, uh, Frigid Wincot, I can't say it, Wisconsin. Uh, the highest we are to get this week is eight degrees and wind chills of 25 below zero in my area. Whew. Chilly. Uh, Fran's in from Maryland. Lisa from Texas. Hannah says, uh, hello, Debbie and Ben, Crafty TV, uh, Crafty TV and Crafty Friends. Kathy's in from Phoenix, Arizona. Hi to Diane. Hi to Fred in California. Uh, Kathy, another Kathy says, hi, Debbie, Ben and Team Social. Aisha's in. Mary Pat's in. Terry Lee's in. Uh, and that, I think, is everyone. I think that's everyone we've got so far. So good evening to you all. Thank you for joining us. Let us show you what we have got left on the show. And it's not a lot because you've been cleaning us out right throughout the day. Uh, we do have on the show tape pens. If it's tape pens you love, oof, you're in tape pen heaven right here. <laughs> you've got uh, your uh, dotty tape pens. And the great thing about this, of course, is you have got 12 tape pens. But the deal on this is you buy nine, you get free three. Oh, I've done it the wrong way yeah, round. Yeah. You get three free. Exactly right. Forty-four ninety-one or sixty-two fifty-five, and another twenty-five percent off that if you're platinum, of course. Um, or sixty, uh, thirty-three sixty-eight or forty-six dollars ninety-one. Always good to stock up on your dotty tape pens, uh, and that is a super deal today. Now the score master and the envelope box creator is limited, 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 limited stock. There's green on the screen, which means it soon won't be seen. 
It soon won't be seen. I can't yeah. get used we to that one. And, oh. Um, no, I'm not going to change it, Johnny. I've been doing that for five years. I've been doing that for five years. I shouted out yesterday when Jam was here and she just looked at me as if I was speaking um, Greek. <laughs> and I had to explain it and then she still didn't really want to do it. Um, I, don't bl I don't blame her, to be honest. It's not the strongest sort of catchphrase thing in the world. But anyway, the point is with this, we are down to um, really, really low figures on it. So if you want it, get it now. There will be green on the screen in just a minute. Go on, Charlotte, press the green on the screen button because I've just said, here we go. We'll, we'll all just wait for Charlotte to press the button. Uh, it's £18 or $23 for the deal. The score master board, brilliant for all your scoring. Box making, of course, as well. And you've got your imperial and metric measures on there too. And then the Envela box creator, we're still waiting. Uh, the Envela box creator, great for making all of your uh, Envela boxes, of course. Only time now, Charlotte, people are going to. Uh, You're and, limited. Uh, <laughs> Uh, perfect for making all of your Venomoxes. There it is! Woo! Woo! Say it again, say it again, say it again. Oh, oh, sorry. Now it is limited stock. There's green on the screen, which means... It soon won't be seen. Exactly right. Woo -woo! Oh, we got there in the end. Well done, team. Well done. Top team. Um, it might stay on the screen, though, for the rest of the show. Yeah, there you go, because we can't... Just get rid of it. Just, just, <laughs> just... There! Oh, no. There we go. It's gone now. Right. Uh, let us have a look at some more pictures, I think. Yes, let's look at some more pictures. Right, the uh, Crafter's Companion Deluxe Tote. Uh, now this comes with some goodies as well because you're going to get your um, spray misters, you're going to get your blending tool, your little round blending tool there as well with the replacement heads and you've got your um, collal glue included too. That's a brilliant deal. We'll have a look at the bag, uh, the tote bag as we go through the show just to kind of show you all the different pockets that you've got and all the space that you've got in there. Um, it really does carry a lot of crafty goodies and it's super sturdy as well and it needs to be because we, we know the amount of stuff that you can get in there it needs to be a sturdy bit of kit it really is 34.99 or 44.85 is your deal on that one uh, and then we've got some scissors on the show as well uh the six inch straight <laughs> scissors uh 11 uh, pounds and four pence or 16.95 are these specific Scissors, or like for a particular, like are we having these for like, you know, use with soft craft or uh, for cutting your um, cardstock and paper or, or are they just sort of general scissors? They are general scissors, but they are very, very sharp. So right. uh, they cut through so many different things. What I would say, uh, Ben, because I know uh, Leanne has a pair in her kitchen. So what, of uh, these? Of these, yes. So she cuts all her meats, all her uh, bacon when you chop it up, all things like that. She used it in a, in a, a meal cutting. Yes, really? so she has, they keep them separate to her paper craft and cutting. And is it, and this is a genuine question here, um, uh, is it good to have, so if you've got a pair of scissors that you use for your um, card making, is it best to have a separate pair of scissors if you're into soft craft as well? Uh, absolutely. So, well, actually, not with these ones. Apparently, they stay sharp and they're amazing. So you can use them for both your paper crafting and your, um, your materials as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh no, Johnny, I know you want me to say it. Uh, so it's good if you've got scissors, of course, for your fabric, scissors for your card making, and of course, if you want scissors uh, for, your, for your meat in the kitchen as well. <laughs> right, let's move on swiftly. There are bits of hysterics in the gallery. I've no idea what they're laughing at. Wow. Um, right. Makes a change for it not to be us, Ben. I know. What is going on? Show us some more pictures. Press a button, for goodness sake. Right, uh, the craft mat. So again, we were chatting about this earlier on super handy you're getting two of these they're absolutely wetting themselves in the gallery i wish you could hear this um you're getting two of these uh, brilliant if you are doing uh, things like your um, your messy craft your mixed media if you're doing things like laying your ink down <laughs> and spraying um, <laughs> with your misters as well and the other thing that we learned a little bit earlier um, these are heat resistant too um super versatile these aren't they debbie yeah these are amazing <laughs> <laughs> They're really amazing. It's Johnny. Johnny had just gone. <laughs> um, yeah, these are amazing. I love mats like this because not only are they brrilliant for all your crafting and your messy work, they're also great for the kids. You were saying earlier they're great for your pets yeah. then. These are the sort of things you put down for any spillages, anything you want to keep nice and clean. So if you want to just decide to craft off your table, your dining room table, but you're doing a bit of painting, these are great for laying down and they all wipe clean as well. They're heat resistant, wipe clean, they're just brilliant combo there. 
14.98 or 22.42 is the deal on that already saving at 25% uh, and you're getting another 25% um, off the deal on that as well if you're a platinum member and we saw this in action a little bit earlier on and no doubt we'll see it again during this show the uh, crafters companion guillotine this is the large guillotine super super handy of course you've got the ability to be able to extend with this with the extending arm and the blade on this by the way it's only available in the UK the blade on this uh, I mean super super sharp again we spoke about spoke about this earlier on but um the technology on this Leanne when we were designing it went to visit a sword maker to make sure that the blade was as sharp as it could be and of course the more you use this the better because it's um self-sharpening too which is just amazing uh, kind of like a craft room essential really isn't it 33.99 for your guillotine less 25 percent if you're platinum or if it's your first purchase with us today uh, as we uh, kind of go into the final furlong on our Take it to the, oh, whatever it's called, Taste of the Next Level event. 25.49 uh, is what you'd be paying for that today. We then got the uh, stamp and die folder. This is the uh, small stamp and die folder. Well, I say it's small. Uh, you can fit loads in here. You've got the um, uh, ring binders in there, which these um, magnetic panels hook onto. You're going to get uh, two three packs, so six of the magnetic panels for storing all of your dies. Particularly good if you've got a lot of those smaller ones that can uh, have the tendency of getting lost or you know you drop them and you can never find them again. This is absolutely perfect for that. 19.98 or 23.14 is a deal on that. Say 20% plus another 25 if you are platinum. 14.99 um, or $17.36. Um, is the deal on that. Uh, loads of comments already coming in. Um, Aisha just saying it's Super Bowl Sunday, so get some junk food, Debbie. Um, Corinne says salmon and chips. Oh, salmon and chips, that's posh, isn't it? Salmon and chips, that does sound lovely. I love salmon, I eat a lot of it. Uh, fish and chips says Enchanted Craft Fairy. Fish and chips says Lisa. Um, fish and chips says Maddie. Um, I think everyone's basically saying you should go for the fish and chips, treat yourself. I think I'm going to. Sunday night. Right, before these sell out, because they are super, 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 super limited, 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 the uh, Scoremaster and then Vela Box create the scoreboard. Are we going to have a look at the Scoremaster again here? Yes, so let's have a look at the Scoremaster and hope that it just stays in stock enough for me to, uh, to demo it. So first of all, your Scoremaster, let's have a talk around it. It's portable, it's lightweight. Uh, I love it because no matter what I do with this, it doesn't bow, doesn't bend. I Oh, I really do feel like it is indestructible. So it also has a little scoring tool that's actually built in. Yeah. Uh, well, I say built in, it's got a space that's built for it. So it'll actually slot straight into there. Now on one side of it, you've got your measuring guide of inches. So this one goes up to eight inches. If I turn it over, you've got centimeters. So it goes up to 20, 21 centimeters. So you've got your centimeters if you prefer, or your inches. I normally always work in inches, but that's just because that's my preference. Uh, the scoreboard, what is it for? It's good for scoring any pieces of cardstock. So I'm going to take just a piece of A5 cardstock and score my lines down. I like to give it a couple of scores uh, just because when you are scoring, what you are doing is you are actually stretching your card fibres. Yeah. And you need those card fibres stretched to enable you to get the perfect score line when you crease it. And when you crease it, you want Want it to be a nice score line. You don't want that to be uh, buckled. You don't want it to feel really creased. It's a nice crisp score line. So that gives you that perfect card fold. Now, if you was to do that again, so I'm going to unfold that and I'm going to pop in my halfway mark. So you will obviously work out your halfways to whatever you're uh, using your card stop for, whatever card size card stop you're doing. We can crease that again, that then creates our easel card. So you like pop your easel on there and you've got your straightforward easel card fold. So nice and easy. But if I was to do it the other way and bend that back on itself, what I've then created is a gatefold card. Yeah. So two different style of cards just by using two fold, well in fact three different styles of cards but just by doing two folds in that card. Next what I want to do is pop that back in here score another line so just scoring down and that will create another fold so this gives us our four different or three different folds in here to create our card and next all I'm going to do is do myself a, a a score line just going down the board I'm not really worried where that goes uh, we're just going to take that across here 
I'm then going to bring in my guillotine and what this does it just creates a completely different score uh, uh, sorry a folded card so I can't see my score line because there we go so just cutting that down and then that creates our card that you I turn that round it's just like a different style style card so this is a nice one to sort of fill mm. all your centers with uh, i don't even know what you would call this i'm sure it's got a name i'm sure someone will let me know but i can't remember what the name of this card is but you can and then if i bring this one in you've got another piece which just is the other piece to it so you've actually created another two cards uh, just to enable those uh, score lines to go down is there. Is it Constantina card, Charlotte? Constantina, that's what it is. That's oh. exactly what it is. Constantina, yes. So you can see our Constantina ones uh, from the front there. It reminds me, I've been there once, of that, um, I can't remember, anyone who's in America will know this one. What's that famous street called in San Francisco that goes like that? That's what it reminds me of. Does it, this, uh, what's it called? Oh, someone will tell me. Who lives in San Francisco? There's that famous street. You, go, you can see it. It goes like that. Oh, well, that's what it looks like to me. Um, anyway, brilliant. You need to get the Scoremaster and Envella Box Creator very swiftly if you want to grab it because it will go, what was it called? Lombard Street. There we go. I'm going to call it a Lombard card. Um, lots of love for the tote coming in. Kathy saying, love the tote with all of my CC goodies in it. Lots of love for the scissors as well, which we'll look at a bit later on. Rhonda saying, love the scissors. I got the set of both sizes during the Black Friday seal. Best, Black Friday sale. Uh, Terry Lee saying, best scissors. Candy saying, get the scissors. They are awesome. And Sharon saying, I love watching these shows. The demonstrations are very helpful. I also love Debbie's blouse. It's very pretty <laughs> on her. Um, I'm from Connecticut, US. And Myra just saying, I have scissors for separate purposes, uh, utility, meat, fabric, and crafting. <laughs> These scissors are really good. See? See, people scissors have for everything. It for me. I need to get more scissors in my life. <laughs> uh, so, what I'm going to do now is we're going to show uh, what else we can do with the score maker yeah. because the sp score master, not score maker. Um, I'm going to just cut some card down. So, I'm using my guillotine. I've got two pieces of cardstock. I'm just going to cut that to, let's just say, uh, six inches. Cut, look at that, sounds amazing, doesn't it? Now, what I have just done is cut through two pieces of card, and both pieces cut absolutely beautifully. So I've gone through 600 GSM using that guillotine. So pop them to the side. I've not particularly uh, done any size. I just wanted to show how we use the board to create uh, a base and a lid for a box, because that's what we can do with our with our score master. Yeah. So I'm going to take my first bit. If I turn it upside down so you can see at the bottom here oh it, it was the right way so at the bottom here we've got a box lid and a box base each side so when you come to do your box lid you're going to want to take this to this side when you want to do your box base you take it to the opposite side so hopefully that makes sense as we go through now I'm going to score I'm just going to take let's do one and a half inches and I'm going to score down our one and a half inches and then I'm going to go in and score that same line on all four sides. And I'm just doing it a few times because I just want to make sure that I am scoring down to release those fibres and stretch those fibres. Oh, just slip there. So doing all that bit. I know I mentioned it earlier as well, so we keep going. Uh, Mary Pat says, my score master has a black line down the centre. Why do some people draw black lines on their score master? Uh, just really, so it gives them a guiding point. Um, when you're doing different kinds of boxes, you sometimes need to line up your score line. So if I wanted to line this four, this number four up yeah. to the bottom four, if I push that down, that doesn't match up to my four at the bottom. Oh, uh, okay. So what I would do is draw a line down that centre of the board. So if I then want to come in and draw, draw a line through the middle of this card to this one I can then know where that line is and I can, because it'll have that black line going through it so yeah a lot of people do do that and uh, and it helps them absolutely now this time I'm going to turn my board around because I always like to work from the left hand side so I'm doing now the box base but this time I'm still going in at that same one and a half inches but what's happening is the increment on the side is slightly bigger so popping this up and then do my last one there we go so that's both of my pieces done from my score i'm gonna again fold that up 
and just burnish them and use your tool that's what your tool's for you score with it you burnish with it uh, it's great for so many different things as well your score and scoring tool here's a question as well which kim has asked talking about um, uh, folding um, i always forget which direction you fold on the crease uh, towards the indent or away does it not really matter uh, now you've said it ah. i don't know but there is a way so i'm just going to go in with another piece of card so i know um so when you score it so it's indented in you score away so right. you fold it fold. outwards right, okay. yes fold it outwards there you go, yes Kim. if you do it the opposite way let's do it the, the other opposite way and i'll show you how that is so the opposite way would be forward here it would actually crack it would so that's tougher to, to actually uh bend out right. and it's starting to crack so yeah always uh, away from it yes I had to think then <laughs> it's one of those things you just do sort of naturally isn't it? you do do it naturally mm -hmm. yes but a really good question so what i am doing is i'm going round each side and i'm cutting the same thing through each side so you snip in you cut that little corner out and then snip the top off and it just makes it nice and neat so snipping in and you will get the perfect box every single yeah. time. So again, doing the same, but now I'm using my lid. There's loads of love coming in for the scoreboard. Love the scoreboard, says the Enchanted Craft Fairy. Got it with the Ultimate Pro. When you score it, it does not cut through the paper. It makes a nice fold. Panda Craft saying definitely a must, not only for cards, but boxes, especially when using A3 card. Uh, lots of love for scissors this evening as well. Diane saying, I only cut paper with my paper scissors and only fabric with my fabric ones. Uh, Linda on Facebook saying, my craft room is uh, full. Uh, of all CC, sorry, my craft room is all CC. I had other scissors, but had to have CC and I love them now. I only use CC scissors. And uh, Monica saying, did I see that today is Ben's one year anniversary? No, it isn't. Feels like I've been there for a year in a good way. <laughs> um, but no, no, I mean that in a good way. What it is, is Craig posted up earlier on Facebook a picture of um, myself and Craig back when I was at the other place. And it's, our, it's, it's mine and Craig's one year. It's a year basically to the day that I first worked with Craig is what, it, is what you will have seen. Um, so he posted up a little picture of us uh, a year ago when we were young and carefree. So that's what it is. I've got another... Uh, April, May, July, <laughs> I've got another six months. I've been here six months. Yeah, six months. Now, look at this box base, Ben. I have not got one corner poking out. It is completely flat and exact all the way round. So that's created, I think, our box lid. Then I'm going to put tape on our other bit here. And just using my tape pen. We have got the dotty ones on. In fact, I'm going to switch to the dotty one purely because I want you to see mm. that you uh, can use the tape pen, the dotty one, as well as the normal one. It's a shame to use the dotty pens though for this, if you know what I mean. Well, it does, but they do the same job. So yeah. if it's just wanting to stick something down, uh, I wouldn't use them if it meant you didn't have them for no. your die cutting. Um, but you could absolutely use them and not have a problem with them. And of them course you all. wouldn't use them the other way around, whereas you're using your dotty tape pen to do this, you wouldn't then use your normal tape pen to do your intro. No, part. very true, yes. So this one has its dual purpose. Mm. So there we go, we've got then our next box, so we can literally put our lid straight over the top and have that perfect box every single time. And you can see that it just fits perfectly. Yeah. That perfect fit. And it wouldn't, you know, it's not gonna come off. That will fit perfectly into that. And that creates our box from our scoreboard. Such a handy collection to have, isn't it? This, particularly when you think with your score master board that you've got the ability to do all of your scoring and you've got the ability to be able to make all of your boxes as well. The Envella Box Creator is um, awesome too. I've got some bad news for you though. If you haven't yet um, grabbed this deal, it is too late because don't scream and shout. This is now sold out it's gone it's out of there well done if you've got your hands on that deal fantastic deal um, and well done you'll have a brilliant time using all of these uh, brilliant tools right uh, what else have we got on the show then well we do have the amazing um, deluxe tote this really is 
Fantastic. And I said it earlier on, and I'll say it again, um, the amount of times that I see crafters with these um, tote bags and they are just jam packed to the rafters. You have got so much room in here. And if you think this one is looking quite full, but just tilt this up again, you can see that you could fit so much more into there. We've basically got the um, contents of the rest of the show just shoved into this. But the great thing is you've got such a wide area in the main compartment of the bag as you can see at the minute, if I just take these out, you don't get all of the contents, by the way, that I'm showing you here. You do get some of them, but not all of them. Um, the great thing is you can like section off the bag if you want to, because you've got these um, removable sort of sections, which you can um, pop into place with your hook and mesh system if you want to be able to do that. So if you want to section it out, you can do. But then also, if you want to take all of these out, because maybe you want to pop in um, one of your smaller machines, you've got the ability to do that as well. Uh, and then around the outside, around the outside, around the outside, you've got all of the pockets so there's loads of room in here and literally you can just um, fill these with so much stuff so three pockets on the um, the, the, the front you've got two each on uh, each of the sides and then round the back again you've got even more space here uh, you've got a, a, a zipper pocket which you can just fit so much into the other brilliant thing about this of course is the design of it because the, this is going to get heavy if you're anything like our Debbie Robinson this is going to get jammed packed full of all your crafty goodies it takes a big weight honestly last time Debbie was in I was doing some uh, bicep curls with her uh, um, tote bag because it was that heavy but the thing is you don't have to worry about the bag falling apart because it's meant to take that weight uh, really nicely designed you've got the um, lovely comfy handles with this as well and nice firm base with that too what i will say about this particular deal is whilst you don't get all of the goodies that i'm showing you here in this bag the deal today does bring with it four of your fine spray misters you've also got your um, round blending tool as well with the two uh, little added um, applicators there and you're also getting a bottle of your um, call out as well so that is all included for 34.99 or 44.85 uh, less 25% if you're platinum, uh, that price comes down even further for you as well. 26.24 uh, or $33.64. Definitely worth going for. If you've already got one of these as well, one of these um, deluxe totes, again, let everybody else know why you love yours. Maybe you, again, we've got half an hour or so left, send in some pictures of your tote bags jam packed to the rafters and let's see who's got the, uh, the fullest tote bag. That would be awesome. Uh, now, snow pictures. Teresa, you'd have to remind me where you are, but you have got a lot of snow right there. Wow. That's what I was thinking we were going to wake up to uh, here up north today, but we didn't get anything. That's brilliant, Teresa. I love that. And then um, Aisha, again, lovely snow pictures in, uh, in New Jersey. Oh, hang on a minute. And then Susan in California an hour ago saw these gorgeous dolphins. How lovely. And can I just say why Susan's up on the screen to thank her for our lovely cars. I've just opened mine before this show, funny enough. So it's lovely to see your name, Susan. Uh, and thank you very much. It's, I was overwhelmed. You're so kind. <laughs> Susan, yeah, thank you so much. Really lovely for you to send those cards and little gifts through to us as well. And how lovely that you've seen those dolphins today too. That's just amazing, isn't it? Just love that. Thank you. Uh, any more pics you want to send in? Snowy pics. Um, we would love to see those to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Um, Talking about this tote bag, I mean, just get your take on this as well, Debbie. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think I've sort of covered all the bases, really, but yeah. it is a really, really super handy, super sturdy bag, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I think what's really nice about it, it's all about organisation. You can get really organised with it. So there's lots of room around the outside, all these pockets that you can put so many different things in. But also, you have a really big mass piece on the inside so you can fit your cardstock in there you can fit your guillotine in there you can even fit your crafty mat in there so there's lots that you can do in there uh, and it's reinforced so all, all the stitching is reinforced stitching so what ben was saying about the handles and being able to carry a heavy weight uh, really counts for that uh, i think this is great if you want to have a couple to store different things in this would be great for all your ink pads and then one for all your tools so there's lots you can do with that and it's beautifully decorated i yeah. mean it's so it's such a lovely bag to look at very elegant uh, yeah you'd be proud to take that anywhere with you or have it in your crafty room so yeah lovely bag um, thank you Teresa just messaging back uh, in Long Island New York so plenty of snow there just before we move on um, and I know we sold out of it but Melanie's just got a question about the, the scoring making the boxes mm -hmm. so she said uh, love you guys um, question if you scored the lid to the box say a quarter of an inch less than the base mm -hmm. 
would you be able to see the base? Basically, does it make the lid shorter? Yeah, so what you're asking, so um, what you would need to do is as long, you can have a, a smaller piece of card for your lid, but as long as when you do your measuring in, you make sure that your perimeter, is that the word? Mm -hmm. Is the same as the the inside. So let's say, for instance, you're, you've got an eight by eight base and you've scored it in at two inches each side. That leaves you an area of four by four inches. So then, if you wanted a top that you've done smaller, you would do that. Let's say six inches, but you would only score in one inch one inch each side because then you'd still have your four inches on the inside, but it'd only be one inch on the outside, allowing for two inches on the base of the card. So then it would be smaller we did make one in there if you go back and watch the yeah, um, 7 a.m show this morning we made this box so this is it shows you exactly what it means this piece here needs to be the same width as what this is did i say 7 p.m felt like it was 7 a.m it, it felt 11. like it was 7 a.m <laughs> ben saying it was 11 a.m this morning so you can re-watch that show back uh, and i will uh, show you this box here which uh, takes you through how to do that exactly lovely thank you uh, lots of love coming in for the tote we're going to move on to the guillotine in just a second um but susan uh season you saw the dolphin just saying i have the whole set of the crafters floral totes love them so portable and they hold a ton of supplies corinne on facebook saying i use my floral tote to hold all my plates and foil press goodies uh, and fred 171 saying uh this tote is uh, in my powder room with a hairdryer brushes and other girly oh, supplies that i can that's grab brilliant yeah oh i'm gonna get one just for that absolutely i'm gonna absolutely get one for that that's a brilliant idea love that why mm. not yeah love that thank you so much for all the messages keep those coming in and we're going to move on and have a look at the um the guillotine so this is the large guillotine and um uh, and i know debbie's going to be doing just a little demonstration with it as well but super handy as you've seen and as we've been chatting about this if you're looking for like top quality precision and a blade which is going to give you that perfect cut each and every time i honestly believe that you you cannot look any further than this because as we said the lengths that the team have gone to here to make sure that you've got uh, the sharpest of sharp blades blades uh, is unbelievable uh, the great thing about this as well hard and stainless steel blades you, it, it sort of self sharpens as well for you each and every time you use it you've got the extension with this as well so you can cut up to uh, 13 inches is the cutting capacity and then of course you've got all of the measurements on here as well which are kind of um like embedded into the actual uh, guillotine too. So there's so many reasons to have this. And whilst, you know, whilst you, this is, this is the large guillotine and it gives you the ability to do those larger projects. Um, I don't want you to kind of think, well, it's too big to kind of fit in the craft room. I think it's great the fact that you've got that extension which tucks away when you don't need it. So it is big, but not big to the point that you're not gonna be able to get this into your craft room if you don't have a lot of room. Um, it's 33.99. UK only, sadly, but um, if, if you are looking for a um, kind of a craft room essential tool, really, then this is the one to go for. And I mean, uh, Debbie, I'm sure you'll back me up on this. If you're looking for a guillotine, you're not going to find much better than this, are you? Oh, no, not at all. No. no, it's an amazing guillotine. It's super sharp. It's super handy to have. And it's compact. So like Ben said, having this compact cat compact guillotine you can take anywhere with you it will store in your craft bag you can put it in your tote bag but what it actually does it has this so what i'm going to do let's have a talk around the yeah, whole brilliant. machine itself so the machine itself i say the machine it is like a machine but it's not a machine is it uh, it actually has a grid up here now because it's the large guillotine it means we can extend so this bit all you do is push that down and pull it out when you pull it out, I'm just going to lift it up. You have a little hook at the bottom there. You just pull that. Out. I didn't do that very well, but you can see there. Oh, yeah. It pulls out, and that's the stand that will make sure that that is completely even along the top. So if you want to cut up to, um, I haven't got my glasses on, but I think it's 13. Yes, 13 inches. Yeah. Uh, you have got that, and all your centimetres in between as well. Now, you've also got, it was something we built into this ball, which was ingenious. You've got your checkered scoreboard here so you can score this way and this way down now all I would say is when you're scoring make sure you do it lighter because otherwise you're going to get a sort of zigzagged edge so that's all you need to do but your, your, your scoring tool is stored really nice and neat in the top of your machine there so if we want to let's say without cutting first of all I want to make a, a six by six card blank uh, but I need to know where I'm going to score that I can literally 
position this to the end of my score line. I can then go in, see, I know that I'm going to just need this, oh, this one here to come across. And then that way, i just lift that up. Uh, we've got our score line that we can then fold in half. And then if I want to do that for a six by six inch card, all I would then do is pop that into here and then we're going to score down, we're going to cut down. And that will cut through both those pieces of card. I'm just going to, I've just not measured that very well. So in fact, we're doing a five and a half inch card for some okay. reason. <laughs> I uh, didn't score that very well. But that gives me a complete card blank straight away, no problem whatsoever. It means you don't actually have to buy any card blanks. You can score, got a perfect score line, and we've got that perfect card blank straight away. Mm. And you can see that that cuts through those, that card stock. Now the other thing um, that's really great with this, so not only does it cut, uh, and then you're getting this grid to do all your score lines, you can cut through different materials as well. So I have got a white piece of card here, but if I was to, let's say, let's uh, cut this one in half. So we can cut this in half, I can then layer it up and I can cut through those two pieces again. So cutting through them, I'm just going to roughly cut them in half and then I'm going to add another piece onto it. So we've got 900 GSM wow. in there uh, and then we're going to cut through those as well. And you can hear it, can you hear that sort of, yeah. it's almost, it's, you can hear that sword like of it, which is incredible. So that's given us three different layers. Now I'm sure I could probably push it, but I don't want to just continue to push the blade. I just want you to see how sharp it is, how you can cut through it. But the other thing that you uh, you can get, and in fact, oh yeah, no, this is fine. I'm just going to take that off just to make sure I have a level piece to start with. I'm going to take off a really small amount. Oh, I'm glad you're showing this. So just this piece here. Mm. Let's pop this to one side. And in fact, what I am going to do is bring in my black card. Sorry for the scrape in there. Now, for these, for to get a really good guillotine, uh, these need to be exactly the same, le uh, same width. So when you put them together, each piece, let me just pop that one on top of the other, they need to actually not show any edges. So they're perfectly, that's twisted a bit there. So let me just try and get that flat. Uh, they meet exactly on the edges. So you can see if I pull them apart and pop them together, yeah. now that's a sign of a really good guillotine that can cut such a small strip, but in a completely straight line. Yeah. So if I wanted to create any strips on anything, I know I've got the confidence with the guillotine that's going to be able to cut those small strips. And that was a great demo, wasn't it? How good the blade is because it shows that you can cut through like the thickness of the cardstock mm -hmm. so it, it can it, it's kind of got the the might to be able to cut through uh, thickness if you want it but then it's also kind of got the um the delicateness is that the word it's delicate enough to be able to make like the finer cuts as well that you might struggle you would struggle to do with a pair of scissors for example and even when you are going as fine as that there's still no feathering is there it's still like a complete oh absolutely cut every time. yeah absolutely you've got a really good blade on there the great thing i mean i'm using a4 card but if you was to use a bigger cardstock so a3 12 by 12 cardstocks this is the guillotine for you so i've just uh, trimmed that off so i've got six uh, six inches there and then I'm going to go in again uh, with my that's on four. Oh, it's not it's eight inches sorry I've done so four I can't it's because of my eyesight is terrible so just then using that to score and creating those cards uh, that for me is amazing that we can do that and create these little card blanks that we can do in whatever um, card stock that you can do so uh, yeah absolutely amazing I um, love it. Do you know what? It's great as well because there's lots of you already um, have your guillotines. Again, you know, I know you all chat amongst yourselves as well, which is brilliant. If there's anyone new who's watching, um, if you've got any questions about the guillotine, do get those in. But what you will find as well, our lovely crafters who are watching along uh, with us will tell you how much they love their guillotines. Like Hannah Law on Facebook just saying, finally got the large guillotine and I absolutely love it. Uh, Linda saying, I have the large and small guillotine, love them. 
Uh, Irene on Facebook. I have both guillotines and I love them. I can't live without them. It's, it is kind of like a craft room essential, really, isn't it? And, and when you've got one as good as this, um, you know, once you've got it, you'll think, how did I ever live without this? Cheryl saying, so looking forward to getting my large guillotine. Uh, love, love, love my guillotine, says Karen Morgenstein. Works so well. And Curran Beeson on Facebook saying, love both my guillotines. Very sharp blade. Uh, and Fred171 on YouTube saying, um, just think, having a bad day, cut some paper with the guillotine with purpose and feel so much better. <laughs> Brilliant. Love that. Uh, the point though is again with this, it's a great day to get it. Sadly, only available here currently in the UK. But as you can see, uh, you're already making a 15% saving. Um, but as it is our uh, taste of the next level event, you've got the ability to get this today with uh, an extra discount wherever you are. Uh, you know, even if you're just a silver member, you're getting another 5% off, so 15% off. Gold getting 20% and platinum members getting 25% off this deal as well. Um, well, just and saying actually, just check the HSN website if you want to get this in America, because we, we think that there might be some of those uh, in stock there. So if you are in the US and you're thinking, oh, I can't get it, just have a look on the HSN website because there may well be some stock in there right now. But um, certainly in the UK, you can still grab this. It's still available for 33 99 Nine. Uh, right, okay. Um, for the last time then, yes, this weekend. Are you getting bored of it yet? Uh, <laughs> of course you're not. Uh, the sea shanty, which we did for um, Craig. Loads of you loving it. I think something like 27,000 views now. It's out on Facebook, proving very, very popular. And uh, whilst we get ready to chat more about the goodies that we've got left on the show, there's not many of them because you've only bought everything. Uh, have a listen to this. There once was a man who was very crafty. His name was Craig from Carnoustie. He joined the team on Crafters TV. Oh, crafty Scottish man craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. He wanted to prove he was the man, but he lost at Craft Wars to Leanne. But two weeks later, he began. Oh, crafty Scottish man craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. He did so well on Crafters TV, Sarah sent him off to Germany, where he did some work for QBC. Oh, crafty Scottish man craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. His crafting skills, they aren't half bad. In fact, I'd say they're totally rad. That's mainly down to his favorite brown pads. Oh, crafty Scottish man craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us tales and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. The crafters, they loved him a lot for his charm and skill. They went quite potty. They nicknamed him the hardy Scotty. Oh, crafty Scottish man craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. In the crafting world, he's standing tall. He's the best Scottish crafter of them all. Catch him Monday to Friday on his wake-up call. Oh, crafty Scottish man craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. Uh, there we go. Lots of lovely um, comments still coming in. Um, Hannah on Facebook saying, using my large guillotine right now. Uh, and Ruth just asking about the guillotines. Uh, Ruth Brewer on Facebook saying, is there any difference in the size of the bed of the two guillotines? The size of the bed? The bed of the two guillotines. So is that like the, the cutting area maybe that she means? The bed area. Yes, yeah. there is. So if I bring the smaller one up. Uh, yeah, you'll be able to see. So uh, if I turn these round, because I don't, I'm not sure if we'll see them both on overhead. So I'll bring them round uh, so you can right, see. Okay. There's quite a big difference between uh, the two. So yeah, and of course with it, the larger one, you've got the extension as well. Yeah, you? absolutely. And I would say if you do a lot of construction work or like your card bases, then the bigger one is always the one to go for. Absolutely. Excellent. There we go. Uh, hope that answers your question, Ruth. Any more questions? Get them in. We've got about 15 minutes remaining, and we will attempt to answer those. Just want to kind of go over some of the other deals that we've got on the show the stuff that we've still got in stock because you you are uh, well 
buying everything basically, not much left. I think lots of people are deciding to take advantage of the uh, last little bit of our um, Taste of the Next Level event. But if you're after the, um, the tape pens, the dot tape pens, we've still got those available for you. And the great thing is here, you're gonna get one, you're gonna get two, three, four, five, Ah, oh, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's where you stop paying for them because you're then going to get one, two, and three for free. Basically, you buy nine, you get three free. <laughs> three free. <laughs> you buy. Oh, you buy. You sorry, Debbie's mic was done. You buy nine. You get three free. You do. <laughs> 44.91 or 62.55 is the deal on this. So each one, right, 22 meters, 72 feet. It, it, they don't look like a lot. They look quite diddy and quite small, but that's a lot of stick, isn't it? That's a lot of stick. A lot of adhesion. A lot of adhesion is a much better word. <laughs> All right. Um, and, and again, for, pe for people who are just... Um, joining us and tuning in and um, are, are wondering why they're called Dotty tape pens. So what is the difference between these and the glue tape pens that we've got? Okay, so Dotty versus Stripes. Oh, I like it. Mm. Dotty versus <laughs> Stripes. Yes. So what is the difference? The difference is uh, one is for your intricate die cuts and one is to stick uh, down. So if I use this one and put it across my uh, page here, I get one clean stripe. If I put the dotty one across here, as you can see, I get dotty one. So I'm going to just angle, there we go. If oh, I angle brilliant. it, yeah, huh? you can see it really clear there. So that's the main difference with what they are. Uh, you can use the dotted tape pen for any crafting. So what I'm going to do on this one here, I'm going to use my tape pen to go round. And I'm just going to cover on there all of it. So I'm making sure I go on to the black piece because I want you to see what that does and that I'm going over the edges. So making sure there's plenty on there. Then with this one, I'm going to use our normal tape pen yeah. uh, and I'm going to again go over the edges. So just now I can see it's lifting up there because that, can you see that's wanting, you can't actually see that. If I angle it, oh, this yeah, is, see it's now. sticking, it's pulling it in. There, look, yeah. because it's not a lot, those dots would have allowed me to take them apart. But what this is actually doing, it's making it very messy. So when I pull this up, I'm going to bring in a clean sheet. When I pull this up, there's, and I'm going to stick this down. There's not, you can see it's coming out of the edges. Yeah. That piece is stuck together. So, and then what I'm going to do is bring this one in and this one across. Both are stuck down, but this one has got lots of little stringy bits in between. This one has nothing. I can't feel any residue in that whatsoever. Uh, so it's much better for your intricate die cuts where this one is going to leave that fine line. And you can see, so what happens with a dotty tape pen, it will take, it will, the card underneath will take away what you're not using but you can use this on all your crafting but this one not on your intricate die cuts brilliant um, and, and that kind of gives you a bit of an idea as to uh, which one you might want and why you definitely want to go for this deal because as I say you're getting 12 of those for the price of 9 44.91 or 62.55 um, if it's storage you're after uh, then again well not only have we got that um, amazing uh, deluxe tote on there which I'm sure we'll recap on again in just a few moments time but you've also got your um, stamp folder, stamp and die folder. And whilst we sort of call this, you know, your small stamp and die folder, um, don't think you're not going to get a lot in here because you really will. Um, really nicely designed as well. The look of this is absolutely great in company colours, of course. Uh, nice and sturdy once again. You know, the design of all of our kind of, um, you know, uh, totes and uh, storage bags are always brilliantly designed because we know that these are going to get jam-packed full to the rafters and they need to be sturdy because, you know, once you fill them up, we don't want them falling apart whilst you're using 
using them. Um, you've also got a really cool little um, tag there too. So if you want, you know, if you've got specific dies that you want to keep in specific uh, folders, you've got the ability to be able to label it all up. Um, zip pocket design as well. And once we open this up, you can see on the inside that you have got um, plenty of room inside the actual folder itself. Now the fact that we give you even give you the little pockets in the front there, little elasticated pockets to pop in even more of your goodies. You've got your um, ring binder folder design in there. Is that what I'm trying to say? You know what I mean. Um, so it's nice and sturdy. And the great thing is, with this uh, particular deal, you're going to get two lots of the magnetic panels. So three uh, lots twice. So that's six, Ben. It was just easy to say six. You're going to get six of the magnetic panels. And as you can see, you've got the ability to pop loads of them on here. This is super handy, isn't it, um, Debbie, for, as we can see here, the sort of more intricate and small dies, which might otherwise get lost. Oh, absolutely. But actually, as much as all your small dies will fit on there, your larger dies will fit on yeah. there as well which would be amazing but I do like that idea of all your small dies they don't get lost you can keep them together so when they're in front of you instead of putting them to the side and losing them that like I do so many times you've got them to throw back onto that ma magnetic um, sheet there uh, and to have six that's really good Ben to have six in this one they're going to fold lovely it's going to look great on your shelf because it's very stylish it looks amazing it's got a tag on the front so you can actually write on what dies you've got in there so you'll always be all going to uh, yeah, and it's reinforced, all the stitching's reinforced. These are going to last you a long time. It's a beautiful folder. Um, lovely. And again, as I said earlier on, if you are perhaps um, shopping for someone in your life who is a crafter, you're looking for maybe like a little Valentine's gift for next weekend. Again, I'm sure all crafters will um, love the fact that you're buying storage because I think, you know, storage is always something which um, crafters need. 1998 or 2314 is the deal on that one. Less than another 25% if you're platinum. 1499 or 1736 um, is the deal if you're a platinum member or indeed if this is your first purchase with us during the taste of the next level event which ends uh tomorrow morning eight o'clock uk time now wow look at this picture. i know i was just looking it's incredible this is sunrise in wow. phoenix arizona i am wow. so jealous right now that, that is beautiful looks what a picture to capture as well with the sun yeah. coming up there is that bird flying across as well oh my word do you know what, Kathy? That's the sort of picture you should do with the puzzle dies. <laughs> no one would be able to do that puzzle. Nah. <laughs> It'd be a difficult one. Do you know that what I feel like as well? I feel, feel a bit like, yeah, I want to get in one of those, like, um, you know, uh, drop top cars and just, like, just go out ride. on a journey. It oh, is wow. stunning. What a stunning picture. Yeah. Kathy, thanks for that picture. We absolutely love that. Wow. Brilliant stuff. Right. We have got uh, seven or eight minutes remaining. Um, the craft mats we've got available for you as well. Two of these you're going to get um, within this particular bundle. So two, four, what's the deal on this? We'll flash it up. Here it comes, 14.98 or 22.42. Uh, as you can see, um, generous in size, you know, so if you are doing um, sort of bigger projects, you can lay these down. Um, and basically, as we chatted about earlier on, they, they sort of wipe clean. So if you are doing more um, messy projects, if you're using inks and sprays and all these kind of things, you said earlier, Debbie, about um, a lot of the time we sort of say to use it on your glass mat. Mm -hmm. But if you've got these, it's sort of uh, preferable to use these, I suppose, is it? Oh, yeah, you don't need to use your glass mat. I'm just thinking if anyone has their glass mat yeah. and they feel like they don't need them, they have still have a use because you can pop them to one side uh, and it means all your mess stays in that one place so all your dry crafting can stay on your mat or whatever you use. But they're just great for putting anything on. If you're someone that likes your moulds and you like to put that clay into your moulds, it means your clay can stay on there as yeah. well uh, and nothing sticks to it. They're completely non-stick, which is amazing. White clean they are just the mat that everyone should have yeah. with anything they're doing really and actually even in the kitchen I mean these would be great mats for protecting your work surface I'm sure they'd be perfect I don't know this but I'm sure they'd be perfect for rolling out your pastry well I, you know, I was thinking exactly yeah. the same thing how many, how many times are you doing that and you're getting bits and pieces yeah. stuck all over the kitchen top I might counter. even give that a try yeah I would and also again because um, a lot of you may not know my wife's a child mind and just think of all of like the like the arts and crafts that the kids get up to there and you know the mess that um, 
um, kids can make absolutely perfect for kind of like um, messy play with the kids you know if they're using things like uh, you know the play-doh as well which can get everywhere they're perfect for that and again like we said you know not just for kind of uh, crafty purposes if you're using these in the kitchen maybe and uh, yeah again if you've got pets too these would be perfect to pop down on the floor because pets can be, qu can be quite messy can't they um, so they're perfect for that as well the fact that you're getting two you might use one for your craft and then one for another use as well uh, $14.98 or $22.42 is the deal on the uh, Spectrum Noir Craft Max less 25% of course if you are a Platinum member or buying for the first time with us eleven twenty four or 16.88. Right, let's kind of start where we, uh, let's finish rather where we started with these scissors. All right, so these are your, your six inch scissors, um, Japanese stainless steel blades, uh, non-stick coated blades as well. Uh, and, and you were talking before the show about these Debbie um, and why you love these so much. What sets these scissors apart from any other scissors in your mind? So my main thing with scissors is being able to cut right from the base, right to the tip. Yeah. So not being able to use your scissors to cut to that tip and get that precision. If I cut really tiny little amount, doesn't matter where I cut that, it's gonna cut where I need it to cut. So for me, that's really important to do those tiny, tiny little cuts to then being able to go right into the base and cut. I mean, you can hear it. The cut on there is amazing. They are super sharp, so they have really good blades on them. It means that we can cut through all different mediums. So whether we want to cut through, we was die cutting things like cork earlier. Mm. We could cut through items like that. We can use them in the kitchen. We can use them in the sewing. We can use them for materials and that. So if you like your applique and you like to cut shapes, they're going to be perfect. Uh, just trimming, just general use around the house, they're going to be perfect for. But they're absolutely absolutely amazing for your crafting. Now my scissors, I've got a little D on mine, uh, I, I try to put my initials, uh, and it's not because I think mine are going to go missing, it's so I don't take the studio, so I always know that I take my own set away and I'm not taking someone else's, but I've had these since they first come out huh. and they are still snipping just as good, so they have lost no sharpness whatsoever, and I'm very naughty, I cut through material and I cut through paper craft, so I use them for everything, I know I'm very naughty like that but Leanne said I could she said it's okay so <laughs> and if Leanne says it goes it's fine yeah so yeah perfect scissors uh, and we've heard lots of testaments from people that have got them uh, and that actually is more important yeah. um, than us telling you because you're the users as well as us uh, and we want you to use them for all those different things and let us know your feedback as well because we know that you love them just as much as we do Absolutely. And then um, again, if you want to go for a couple of these today at this um, price, seven fifteen percent and then 25% off if you're platinum, uh, $8.28 or $12.71. Um, it may well be that you want to keep a pair for your uh, paper crafting, if you want to keep a pair for your, um, your fabric as well. You've got the ability to be able to do that. And it's lovely as well on this show that we've seen so many lovely testimonials. Uh, you know, you kind of look at like the bigger objects and you think to yourself, yeah, people are going to say how much they love like the, the scoreboards, the envelope boxes and the tote bags. But even like you guys are waxing lyrical about our scissors as well, which is just brilliant that you love um, all of the different ranges uh, and all of the different goodies that we've got for you here at Crafters Companion. Uh, lots of love, by the way, for the uh, brilliant camera work today coming in, particularly the demo that Debbie was doing with the um, the tape pens. Uh, that's all Charlotte. Charlotte is on the uh, the joystick and the buttons today. Um, and uh, lots of love coming in for that particular demo, as I say, just showing the difference between uh, the two types of um tape pen that we've got um yeah kind of almost done wrapping up the show uh will just saying i've multiples of both tape pens i really like them they're so easy to use uh kathy saying i've got four of these storage cases the folder which we've got uh, love them uh, but mine are filled and heavy luckily they're well made of course uh kay just saying i've got several pairs of the scissors all three sizes and i love them uh, and hannah law says uh, these scissors are the best had to get some for my husband uh, because mine kept disappearing. Wow. Uh, remember, 
Uh, just before we say goodbye, to check out your baskets, and if you are uh, going to be taking advantage of our Taste of the Next Level event, uh, midnight Pacific time, it is over. So if you're going to make any purchases and you want to take advantage of that extra 5% off, where, whichever band you're in, uh, then make sure you do it before then, because after that, we go back to normal. Um, Debbie, thank you so much for a brilliant day. Are you staying here? Or not staying in here all night, obviously, but you're, you're back tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going away, but I am coming back tomorrow. Yes, Ben, I've got a full day again tomorrow apart from the one o'clock i think i'm on at 4 p.m uh, and plus the craft vaults uh, so yeah and we've got amazing stuff in fact we've got some brilliant deals on our sparkle inks our color blend i've got some shows with the spinner dies and the those. aperture so yeah i've got lots going on lots of demos and i'm looking forward to another day so uh, yes and the craft along tomorrow's on oh yes, yes. with craig mm. that will be brilliant um, yeah, creative with another craft long, and if uh, you enjoy that as much as you enjoyed the first one on Friday, um, it's going to be brilliant. Uh, and also, uh, the uh, it's going to be Nicola and Kelly going to be joining us on the uh, craft along tomorrow, so that should be brilliant. I am back with you. I've got five days off now. It's nice, isn't it? Uh, I know, part timer. Uh, I'm back with you on Saturday. Uh, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday next week. Um, just a quick plug. Um, I've got a little competition going on currently over on my Facebook page. If you want to uh, win some cards that have been made this weekend uh, check that out uh, and also on Saturday I'll be doing my Valentine's quiz too uh, on the Facebook page 8.30 UK time so just bear that in mind if you fancy having a bit of fun with me um, on Valentine's weekend sounds a bit wrong that doesn't it but it'll be fun it'll be fun uh, listen have a brilliant rest of your Sunday if you're in the US enjoy Super Bowl Sunday as well uh, I will see you next weekend Debbie <laughs> Debbie will see you <laughs> She's already packing up. She's emptying the bitches out of here. Debbie, we'll see you tomorrow uh, here on Crafters TV. See ya. <laughs>